Hello in the next episode. Today I'm going to repair PlayStation 5, which came in for the Blue Light of Dead. It's a two second uh, Blue Light of Dead. And today I'm going to try to fix it. All right, let's fix it. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to plug the power cable. And I'm going to power this on. You see? It's a two second blue light of that. When I press it again, nothing happens. Again. Two seconds and it's gone. Again, nothing. Two seconds and that's it. First thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure, you know, the voltages and we see. All right, so let's check the voltages first. Minus. And let's start from 12 volts rail. And we've got 12 volts. Is nothing. Let's check if we can see the 5 volts on the HDMI IC. So now it's going down. So let's now let's power this on. Once again. Yes, we had 5 volts. Alright, so let's check here. We've got 5 volts. Same on the other side. Let's check 3.3 .3 volts. We've got... Yes. We've got nothing. 12 volts. So we've got all the voltages, but the console still doesn't want to power on. All right, let me just I just need to unplug it, remove the motherboard, and I need to check the other side if you can see any shorted components. All right, so we've got the motherboard out. So, multimeter in the beep mode. Yeah, we've got the beep mode. So I'm going to look for the shorted component on the motherboard. Right here we've got two fuses. We can check them right out. So the, those those two fuses are alright. Here's another one. That 
OK. Just zoom in a bit. Another one is here. And it's good, it beeps. Here we've got another one. No, this is not the sh here we've got fuse another fuse here good another fuse is here And it's also good. Check the other side. We've got one fuse here. Perfect. We've got little small diode here. It's not shorted. Ground. Let's check area uh, HDMI area. If you can, if you got any short here. No, no. Okay, so it's good. Let's check the capacitors here. Good. And here we've got a short. I've got another, you know, the motherboard. I've got some donor boards with me, just in case, because I can't remember all values. So uh, the short was here. Yes, here. The big cup here. This is the donor board. And let's check that cup. And we have no short. We have no short. It's not shorted to ground on my donor board. But it is on the on the customer board. Let's check further. About this one, this one is okay. So another that short here, but no, no, no. This is not this is not short. So. It's okay. 
let's check the other side of the board. So it was this area on the other side. And this is good. And here we've got another short. Probably it's the same. Look at this. Let's take the lower board. And we have no short here. Here everything is fine. Yeah. I'm going to check also this area. It's good. Good. Do you think it's that MOSFET? And the gate, same here. Gate, nothing. But here we got short, yeah? So this MOSFET might be shorted to ground. Hmm. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to inject voltage here. I'm going to inject about one volt. I'm going to start from one volt. And I'm going to watch this motherboard under the thermal camera. Yes, you know, the time is money. So let's apply some flux. The coil. Solder. And minus ground. Here's plus, here's minus. All right, so here we've got the coil. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply inject one volt right now. Three, two, one, zero. All right, so we've got here. You see, this is one of the capacitor here. It's taking three amps right now. All right, I'm going to turn this off. So we've got shorted cup right there. So I'm going to make it a little bit closer. 
Here we go again. This is one, two, three, four. Is it this one? Yes. All right, it is a capacitor number two. All right, I'm going to desolder this wire. And this one, yeah. All right, I'm going to use hot air. Let's apply some blocks. Five hundred volt, five hundred uh, degrees. Check that cup. Let's check that cup. This cup is shorted, it's faulty. This cup is faulty. Alright, so let's check this now if we if you got still any problems and look at this. Look at this. The short's gone. So it wasn't this MOSFET. I suspected this MOSFET and the MOSFET is alright. Yeah, it is good. Alright, so, you know what, I'm going to replace it, I'm going to put a new one from the donor board, so, alright, so let's apply some blocks and fresh solder. Test it now again with the new with the new capacitor. Do we have any short here? No, no. All right. Hopefully, you know this short didn't damage something you know more important. But we will see now. 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to put everything back together. Three, two, one, fingers crossed, two, one, zero. White light, please go to white light. Please, please. Come on. And yes, we've got a white light. This console should work right now. Yes, 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 yes. Probably it was scanning, you know, the uh, system storage. Come on. Yes, we've got wild light and it beeped three times, so that means that someone unplugged this console uh, without powering off because you know of the power surge or I don't know what, what was that. So we've got a white light and I'm going to turn this off. I come back in the second. You know, I come back within a couple of minutes because I need to clean this console inside. It's quite dusty here. See? And then after this, I'm going to assemble it back. Uh, you know, assemble the fan. And I'm going to uh, test it on the telly. So I'm coming back within five minutes. All right, so the console is cleaned. As you can see, nice and clean. Uh, what I'm going to, I'm just going to quickly assemble it back. That's it. Yes, we've got it. All right, so I can see it works perfectly fine. We've got a picture, so I'm turning this off. And I'm going to finish the assembling and then I can test it later.
All right. So, as you could see, you know, it was a difficult job to find the reason why the console, you know, didn't work. Uh, so it was just only one small capacitor. I've just replaced it and it works. Uh, I think, you know, even if you don't have any replacement for the capacitor, should be all right if you leave this circuit without that capacitor. But it's better always to replace it, yeah? All right. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And see you next time.